Okay, today's topic. Uh, Johnny Depp wins. What did you think when you heard the news yesterday? I was like, oh, all right. Damn. How much of the trial did you follow? Uh, it hit bits and pieces here and there. Cause I, I was busy. I got, I had things to do. Is that her statement? No, I didn't see none of them. You didn't see Amber's statement? I saw that they posted one. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what? what happened? Let's start. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken. And the mountain of evidence that still wasn't enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what his verdict means for other women. It is a setback. Let me keep reading, let me keep reading, let me keep reading, let me keep reading. Let me keep reading. Please return, I need my audience. The act is not done, for we are always on stage. Curtains open. Let us begin. I'm even more disappointed with what the verdict means for other women. Ladies, I believe you. Do you believe me? No, bitch! Get the fuck up out of here! <laughs> I really feel like that's a lady thing. A lot of ladies are like, it's a go. No, no, we don't. My husband beat me, and it don't sound like what you went through. <laughs> okay. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out, spoke up and spoke out, could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against ladies is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorneys succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore the evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case, but I am sadder still that I have lost a right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. This is so hilarious. What the fuck does that have to do with it? Freedom of speech? Ain't got nothing The to problem do that. wasn't that you exercised your freedom of speech. The problem was that you defamed somebody with lies and lied. Okay, Johnny, go ahead. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell the jury and the people that I, too, Johnny, am a victim. Tell the world and see who believes you. And the world was like, we believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, believe him. Hey, you know uh, what, Babu? Hey. You did good. Believe all You pirates. did good because you wanted... You wanted us to believe the victim. Believe all and pirates. We did, and we did. Hey, man, and it I like wasn't you. You know what the problem oh, was? Man. I think she, her legal team was really bad because she should have won this case. Trash. She should have. It was. She should have won this case. Were, I don't know. And, and let me let me tell you, some of the stuff that she did is like she would lie about the littlest things, yes. which then made her whole testimony yes. not make any sense. Yes. She really sat there and tried to convince everybody what, what that she, the article that she wrote about being, you know, getting domestic boo boos wasn't about. Her husband, Johnny Depp, who she'd like been seeing pictures of like being hit by in videos. She tried to convince the jury that that are, if you would have just admitted to certain things, I think people would have given you a lot more leeway. Yes. But because you lied yes. about everything, yes. the three cops who said, yeah, we didn't see any injuries on her. So the lawyer's like, so what do you think about the fact that the three cops didn't see any injuries on you? And, he's, and then she says, no, no, they did not not see any injuries on me. They considered my face not injured. It's not the same thing. I was like, what? She was bad. I was like, bitch, why are you doing this? You were sitting here in this courtroom when Officer Melissa Sines testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21st, 2016, right? I saw her testimony, yes. And you heard Officer Sines testify that she did not see any injuries on you that night, correct? I heard her testify she did not consider this injured. No. Miss Officer Sines testified that she met with you and she did not see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct? She did not consider this injury. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21, 2016. And he also testified no injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. They did not see injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that what their testimony was? What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damage, but it was. You were sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition about being called on May 21 to the Eastern Columbia building, and he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? he and that's what he testified to. He didn't even know which one I was. No, 
I think we all saw on video camera, you identify yourself, isn't that correct? I had to because of how far away he was. He didn't even know, he didn't even know who he was But after you see. identified yourself, he looked at you, isn't that correct? From a distance, yes. And he didn't see any visible injuries either, did he? I don't know what he saw. He testified that he didn't see any visible injuries, did I he? I would believe that he didn't, yes. Do you think the jury sees them like, it, oh, it, oh, it, thank it, you for the clarification. I was, I was it, too stupid. Was it? I thought you were injured. No, no, they considered you not injured. But e even even the legal team said that. Yeah. They said that to one dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, you want to have your 15 minutes of fame? Yeah. And this motherfucker backfired like a champion. Yeah, he, he went, went whoo, excuse me. You know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? your honor, argumentative. I, I can ask that yeah. question. Oh, ruled. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When my dude did that, yeah. I went like, "Okay, this motherfucker is ready." There was some moments like, like that. I work for T, like I work for TMZ. You think you're not gonna get at me? Like I work for this, I work for that. Yeah. I could say the same thing to you about you. Yeah. Taking a client like her. Woo! The standout lawyer. Hey, Camille Vasquez. Everybody knows that name now. No, okay. yeah. I think this might be the most high-profile lawyer in terms of like a media case yeah. since Johnny Cochran. No, but this this since month, Johnny this Cochran. Month. This was a, and you know what? Apparently, Johnny took this case in Virginia specifically because they allow for cameras in courts. Yeah. So he wanted this whole bitch to be televised mm -hmm. and everything to be out mm -hmm. there. And let me tell you, I would jump in a live stream and I would say two hundred seventy-five thousand people watching yeah. at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So with this verdict, people were asking me like my thoughts and everything. Yeah. And um, I was surprised by the win, not because I didn't know about the evidence involved, just because I didn't expect Amber Heard's team to put up such a bad defense. So I was surprised by the win, not going to lie. However, um, and, I, and I'm sure for, for Johnny to be able to get this story out there and get his side and get it televised and everybody's watching it, everybody's tuned in, I think that's a big deal as well. Um, and I think everybody's celebrating because, you know, they've seen injustice in some way, shape, or form and like, good. Fuck yeah, this is awesome. Me personally, I think what I struggle with is that based off of the lies that she's told, and she's told so many, it ruined his career. I do not believe that you can A, get restitution for the damage that's been done. Not really. All right? And B, I don't know if he's going to get his acting career back. Not in the way it was before. I think he is. You think he's going to be doing AAA movies like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yep. Why is that? I don't know. I think he is. Because now that's done. That's out there. I think the Pirate of the Caribbean is going to take that and going to be like, yeah. You know, the issue with that is once your name is stained, it's hard to come back from that. When it's things regarding to sexual violence. Do you want to do a follow-up video when it happens? If it happens. Okay. If it happens. If it happens. But what evidence do you have of somebody being accused of something I don't like have this? evidence. Or, or, I do or, not or, have. or presence. I do not have so evidence. So that's my difference. I understand what you're saying. A hundred percent. Yes. A hundred percent understand. And you're, you're right. Yeah. I'm not disputing that at all. It's very hard to come back from that. That's a, that's a, that's, that's, that's a race that you were back in the field. Yeah. When it started. Right? Because it was so high profile and because it was 275,000 people watching, because it was all this going on, I think he's going to be able to have it back. I think he's going to be able to be in the media back where he was. And it's also the fact that it's not an O.J. Simpson. The guy is likable, right? I but. think there's a disconnect between what the public wants and what mainstream does. Uh-huh. Right? To me, I, I liken it to the fact that, like, so many people might be for a specific political act, cause, and the vast majority of the public supports it, and politicians don't give a fuck. I understand. The way that these people live in terms of the execs in Hollywood and all this stuff, and the way regular people think, is generally very disconnected. I understand, but the difference between, between this and that is that we're talking about money, and what the mainstream wants is money. If the people want and been wanting a other part of the Caribbeans and the Caribbeans was in the works and stuff like that. And yeah. They got stopped before because of that. And the people still want it and people are like, get over it. We want that. They're going to do it. Why? 
money. Because now on top of that, it's not just Pirates of the Caribbean, mm. but it's the comeback of Jack Sparrow. Remember that you cannot beat Jack Sparrow. And Amber Heard, you almost did. <laughs> but you did, bitch. So is that there's now even more money linked to that okay so now he's back there's gonna be people that are gonna be curious it's gonna bring an attention from that so maybe studios are gonna be like you know what fuck it let's go let's risk it i personally don't see any major studios doing this if it was something like netflix i might see them give it a chance but outside of that i don't see these people wanting to jump on anything like this they're so safe with their pr mm -hmm. if you make one comment that's off or you start saying things that's off they start trying to get boot you off of things mm -hmm. maybe maybe i'm too jaded about this stuff i've seen it time and time again where someone gets accused of something even if the evidence comes out afterwards they just don't come back to give that person a second chance no. i think johnny will do movies i think he'll do indie movies i think he'll do like lower stuff movies or like kind of artsy movies i just don't know if he'll ever do the triple a stuff which hey maybe it doesn't matter to folks just me personally when i think of what justice looks like i think you get back to where you were before that's what I would ideally what, like. What I think is... Or what was taken from you can be restored to some degree. I just... Outside of the character and the perception from the public, which I think is great. Don't get me wrong. You love doing something. Yeah. It gets taken from you. Yeah. It's hard to feel like things are right when you can't do the thing that you love the way that you used yeah. to do it. And That's the main thing. It's not even that. It's that. The reason why I think it wouldn't work is if I was Chad. Uh. Johnny at uh. this point. If I was Johnny and... Some shit happened and I get dropped off of allegations, not even <clears throat> not even a trial or anything like that. Yeah. And then you drop me off. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, you don't even have my back. The only people that had his back was Dior, I believe. So you don't even have my back no more. And then you come back and be like, hey, Johnny, we spoke to the team and we mm. wanted to do. And I'm like, oh, now you want this back? Yeah. Now you want this shit back? You yeah. drop me. Now nah, you want this shit back? Nah, B. Yeah. We're not doing this. Then, then I understand. I understand Joni's side because Joni don't have to do shit. He yeah. doesn't have to do shit. Yeah. That's why I would be like, you know what? But then again, I don't know how everything was done. How we got dropped? What was this conversation was about? Whatever. So it it it, it all depends of that. Yeah. But I know that I, you know, you know, I'm. But they can drop for nothing in that industry. Yeah, how many times have nothing. you seen actors drop for this? An opinion that's not even that spicy. No. Ha Straight off. They, they don't want any weird PR. They're super sanitary about everything. So I look at Johnny. I know how I feel about him. Most of y'all know how y'all feel about him and how positive it is. But it doesn't matter to those folks. You get what I'm saying? Netflix would take a chance on Dave Chappelle. And even that was super rocky for some time, it seemed like, right? Yeah. Look at his ease on sorry. Yeah. Has he been back? He's tried. What did he even do? What did Aziz even do? Yeah. He's still dead. Yeah. Think about that. Think about how crazy that is. Think about this. Think about that. Think about this. <laughs> but that, that, yeah, I understand what you're how saying. They're going to be like, that, that, that being said. That, that. <laughs> I thought you were stuttering to do that. That, 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 that being said. Okay. I will say, though, on, on to, to your argument. If he did come back and did any movie, I think the outpouring of support and how much of a box office it is would be would be astronomical. The amount yeah. of people who would line up to fucking support him, like it's a political statement. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And so on that end, I think it's fantastic. It's like it's, I think it's like what we call the retour de balance with all these years that we had with the you know cancel this, cancel that, cancel mm -hmm. that, cancel that, cancel, 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 yeah. cancel, and he's been can wrongfully canceled. I think he's able to no no. We're gonna Johnny was not the one. So some people are being hyperbolic. Ah, maybe I'm jaded. I don't know. Maybe something wrong. I saw people saying, like, oh, this is the death of the Me Too era and all this other stuff. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think this changes much. I really don't. What did we discover today? Bitches lie sometimes? Yay. Yeah. We've been trying to tell y'all bitches lie sometimes. No, no, believe all we I was like, oh, my day. Shut the fuck up with that shit. Do I believe that that stuff is going to be gone? No. No. I don't. I really don't. I wish I could say something more optimistic or things like that. I just don't believe it. I've seen too many of these cases, too much of times where like there's so much evidence that the person's lying and the next case comes along and everybody jumps on the whole believe women not bandwagon. And so, I don't know, me personally, I'm not that optimistic about it. But hey, I'm open to change. I hope things do improve. I, yeah. just, I just don't believe it will. Can we appreciate? You know what people are coming at Amber as? A liar. Someone who makes up stuff. Mind you, this man had his finger partially chopped yeah. off. And 
she has video audio of her beating him and nobody really sees her as an as like a physical like maybe no. manipulative no all this other stuff no. but nobody really takes her as like no the male equivalent of that you know what i'm saying even with all this I don't think people really perceive her that way or talk about her that way. That's not been my perception. Most of the time, we was like, yo, the bitch is lying. Which, hey, it's a start. <laughs> you were saying, bitch? Uh, when, 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 and I like that. I like that. Like, when your exes, uh -huh. when your exes drop you and they're like, ugh, I'm not going to come out with you because you got problems with drugs and stuff like that. And they testify for you. And they're like, this motherfucker never touched me. When the lady got, like, got, fell down the stairs. Yeah. And she's like, no, bitch, I fell down the stairs. That's it, Johnny. I'm not with him, no. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mm. When your ex, when your, my God, when I mean, some people got good relationship with the exes. It's not that deep. So, okay, I, I, so so some people got good relationship with the parents of the person that is accused. What you mean? Fuck out of here. Even the parents of Ember Heard were like, yeah, Johnny, she bugging. She bugging. Hey, come you, on now, B. That's a lot of fucking coincidences. At one point, at one point, you know the video that came out with Johnny and Amber, like the video that came out where she's got the wine bottles and he's like slapping the cabinets. He's slamming the cabinets, and yeah. she has a camera position like right beside the yeah. bottle. Yeah. And then he sees the camera. He says, get that shit out of here, right? So they sent a version to TMZ. But the version they sent to TMZ cut out the part where she's looking at the camera and smiling. And they cut out the part where she sets up the camera. Uh, of okay? course. The TMZ guy says, yeah, it was edited. And so the lawyer says to Amber, like, why did you send them an edited version? She's like, I didn't send them an edited version. She's like, why would you, why would you, why would you send the edited version like that? Are you trying to... You edited out the portions that made you look bad before sending it to TMC. <laughs> You're very wrong about that. So that if I wanted to leak information, I could have bad. done it in a more effective way a lot sooner and a lot more. Because I was exactly living with a mountain that, right? of this evidence. If I wanted to leak it, I could have done a lot more with it. I thought you testified earlier in this trial that you didn't know how to leak things. I Remember don't. Bro. How stupid this bitch look! That, that, that's weird. That's you know how easily no, no, I could that, have that, leaked that, it? That, 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 I thought that. you said you don't know how. Uh, I don't. The, but that, the, but that's the thing. That's the thing. The thing that happened is ego. When you touch the ego, do you know what I did? A peacock's gonna peacock. Bruh, bruh. It's gonna have to. She got Yo, murdered. you know how much shit I got? She got you for, forget, forgot about what she said because yeah. the ego is stronger. Nah, B. Like, I got so much gold, don't even worry about it. I could have just leaked it. Yo, listen. Leaked it, bruv. I'm the, I'm the one. Didn't you tell listen, her you know earlier that you were not the one? Uh, I'm, I'm not. Shit. Fuck. Wow. Ah, shit. Fuck. Stupid. Shit. She looked dumb on the stage. I'm not, I'm not the one. Let me tell you guys. 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 The real MVP of this case has definitely got to be Amber Heard's tears because they betrayed her so hard. This bitch couldn't summon her tears for nothing. <laughs> she got a dysfunctional ass Pokeball because every time she tried to, I choose you, tears, that motherfucker did not no, no, come no, out. No, 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 I had the Pokeball. Bruh. She tried crying so many times. Her face went. She looks like a Japanese meme where the guy goes, Yeah. Yeah. That was that was <laughs> She can't be dying. Shout out. By the way, let us know what you guys think. We want to hear from you.